Good morning. Well, it's been just over a week since that tragedy. And one question many in our area are asking, um, was Rochester a possible target for this incident? In over 600 pages of the alleged shooter's diary posted online, Rochester is mentioned several times. I spoke to Bernie Tolbert, former FBI agent in Buffalo, who says investigators are going to want to figure out if this shooter had any help. Why was he considering Rochester? Law enforcement agencies will be talking to parents, family, and friends. And when it comes to learning more about the situation, he says you can't leave any stones unturned. Any and all social media will help. Anything posted will offer more insight into the shooter's life, his background, and premeditation. What platforms they used, what they said, who they said them to. From a, uh, the FBI's perspective, leads are sent out to every one of the field divisions in the country saying, here's the individual, you know, see what, check your files, check your sources, see what you come up with. He says no word on how long the investigation will take, but in the meantime, there are ways you can get involved and help those affected by this tragedy. Um, organizations like Feed More Western New York and Buffalo Community Fridge are taking donations at this time. In Rochester, Eric Hattacost, News 8.